Today we're taking a snowy hike to Bobbit Hole, so come along for the ride. Mud pit ahead. Wow. So I'm just about to get to Bobbit Hole. Today I'm out here at Eno River State Park at the Coal Mill Access. I'm about to hike Bobbit Hole Trail and Coal Mill Trail. There's a lot of mud out here, snow, ice, and mud. It's actually not so much the ice that's a problem today, but the mud, since it just takes one wrong step and you're gonna end up right in the middle of the river. So I'm gonna have to watch my step, but it should be a good time. Also, I should mention, I only got about three hours of sleep last night. So if for any reason I look a little bit out of sorts today, it's just a matter of sleep deprivation. Morning, mud pit ahead. We'll see if I can make it. I'm taking footage. I don't know if I should be doing this. It's probably pretty stupid. It is muddy as all hell. You would not even believe. Oh my God, it's crazy. Holy shit. Wow, yeah. That's one thing you hardly ever hear about when people go out hiking in the snow, assuming they ever do, most people don't. But. It's the mud, man. I'm telling you, the mud is the worst part. You really gotta see this. My shoes are just caked. And all I did was walk through this little stretch of terrain right here. You would not think there could be so much mud. Damn, I'm not even gonna try that. I'm gonna have to go up the side here. People talk about climate change like it's just one thing, but the reality is there's so much more to it than just global warming. Of course, that is one way of putting it. And on the whole, our planet is warming. Temperatures have been increasing. The intensity of storms, usually as a function of temperature increase, has also been increasing. All you have to do is look at the increasing severity of hurricanes, tornadoes, extreme weather events even blizzards in some cases. Also, of course, whenever you get a significant amount of snow in a short period of time, and then that snow melts, you end up with flooding. And in some cases, even mudslides. And a lot of areas are facing increasing risk from mudslides and landslides as a direct result of climate change, which by the way, is a result of carbon emissions which come from industry, simple. So I just crossed over from Coal Mill Trail to Bobbit Hole Trail, and I've got about maybe a tenth of a mile to go before I get to Bobbit Hole itself. Bobbit Hole is one of the deepest locations on the Eno River. Supposedly it is, in fact, the deepest location. There are a number of different mills around here. There's the Alpha Woolen Mill, not too far away. There's Coal Mill, which of course is the namesake for Coal Mill Trail, and there are several others in the area. So I'm just about to get to Bobbit Hole. Wasn't sure if it would be worth it to come out today with all this mud, ice, snow, and everything else. But I am telling you, looking at it right now, it's worth it. So I'm headed back from Bobbit Hole now. If you do come out to Eno River State Park and you get out to Bobbit Hole, just be aware that the way back is twofold. You can go either by the river or through the forest. I'm taking the forest just for the sake of variety, but it's not quite as scenic. So if you really want the good stuff, take the river route. So I'm just about to get back to the parking lot. This hike was about three miles. I don't have a pedometer, so I can't exactly tell, but it's about three miles, about a mile and a half out and about a mile and a half back. It's a really great place. 
Make sure to check it out if you're in the area. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.